Hey, Tony. Happy to be back. Yeah. Good to have you in the booth here. So, like I was just uh, reminding our, our viewers, the last game we did together was really, really good. Um, a lot of action there. And nice catch there by Ryan Paddock and then a hit by Ben Smart on Pahaska. So, Grand Valley got to a pretty good start. If we get that caliber game, I think the fans are going to be really happy. Oh, absolutely. Tyler Peach laid the charge here for the Lakers. No retreat and pull the Buckeyes back up now. All right, this has been kind of an interesting story here at Nationals. Um, everybody thought that Grand Valley was going to kind of underperform, but Ohio State was going to overperform. It's been kind of interesting. Grand Valley's really showed what they're made of, and Ohio State's kind of, you know, fluttered a bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's so much that they've fluttered as much as, like, Penn State just really just, just, uh, wow, stepped up and took it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing against Penn State at all. Penn State earned that victory, absolutely. All right, the Buckeyes now on the throw line. A couple pump fakes there. Nice throw by Josh Hill there and Derek wow. at the top there. That Josh is huge. Is, Josh has been a, a big game for the Michigan Lakers squad, giving them another big arm in the corner. Ooh. Ben Smart maybe had a beat there. I thought he had a beat. Thought that got through the block of Ginsburg. Hard to tell from our angle, but. I trust the integrity of these players to take the route there. And yeah, if Ginsburg is in, I hope he didn't get it. Yep. Good counter by Matt Budai, and he missed the catch. All right, Nick Hemmer with a great pass. All right, let's see. Uh, both teams kind of just feeling each other out. You, you'll notice this in the, in the close-up matches with the top-tier teams. A couple of like the first, you know, kind of exchanges is slower because they're feeling each other out, kind of get a groove for the tempo of each other. Ethan Lempool, huge hit on Josh Hill. Kind of a ball floating towards no man's land. Ohio State's got the kick that and the top ball advantage. All right, Ben Smart backing off the rookie, Nick Kemmer there. Owen Israel gets caught for the, with a cross there. Grand Valley down to eight players on their side. Looks like also eight players on the Ohio State Buckeye side. So, even match up so far. Ohio State's getting the better bounces here with the wall. Absolutely. Really benefiting from, from that system. Just over three minutes gone by. First half, Ohio State versus Grand Valley State here. College Dodgeball Nationals live from Athens, Ohio. All right, Buckeye team throw in the corner just misses the mark there. That was number 21, the freshman, Mason Smith. Quinn Israel pointed him out as maybe one of their best factors. Low throw, freshman on freshman there. Mason Smith taking a throw near Kemmer. That nice spot by Ben Smart there. You'll notice he doesn't keep himself very like at a, a, a liability for getting caught very often. He throws low. Yeah, he's one of the more uh, deadly throw throwers in the league, that's for sure. Tyler Peach will reset the three now. One of the more dangerous catchers in the league, Tyler. I just interviewed him and he said his primary sport was catching. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know he's a big fan of those combat sports, but uh, I didn't know he actually wrestled. Yeah. A lot of wrestlers have decent hands, though, I've noticed. Ohio State has a player advantage of two now. Alley just misses the long throw. Tyler Peach wasn't even really ready for it. Alec Gonzalez at some point got a hit there, too, and that's fine, so. All right, looks like Grand Valley's one player away from the 10 count. Wow, Ginsburg big catch on Ginsburg. That'll bring in Aiden Jacobs, sophomore. Ginsburg's mad about that spot, and I would be too. Hit by Ben Smart. Good team catch there by Ryan Paddock to bail out Ben Smart, his teammate. 
that'll bring in Matt Budai. It's a big hit for the Lakers there. He's uh, one of their leaders as a sophomore. He's number two on the rookie All-American list last year. Good job. Tyler Peach. That's what I found. He just kind of turns and Kevin Miller's ball just finds its way right to his stomach there. Brings in Josh Hill. Yeah, so just like that, the Lakers have taken over this game now. Lakers have an unprecedented ability to be in the right spot at the right time to secure the catch. You know, a lot of times those people will reach in and that's when they get hit, but they're always right in their chest because they place themselves so well. Oh, Nick Kemper with a great diving attempt at a catch, and Matt Budai gets the best of that exchange there. With now Josh Hill takes out Ethan Lemkel. Tyler Peach draws a throw, and then Darners, or Darnell Hurst, excuse me, counters. Takes out O'Malley. Does look like Ohio State got a catch there at some point. Might have been a team catch. I didn't see anybody after the Valley go out. Yeah. I apologize if I missed that. Yeah, O'Malley must have uh, been team caught. He did not go off the court. Um, so. Yeah, I think he was saved there by Will Bryan on a team catch. That brought in uh, Prohaska, but Ohio State is down on 10 o'clock now. If you're new to the sport, two 25-minute halves with a 15-minute. Ben Darty with a huge catch on Tyler Peach. Oh, they're going to say Ben Darty is out. Oh, no. All and right. Elijah Mitchell, or, or excuse me, Elijah Thomas is also out. Grand Valley now in complete control of this one. All right, Grand Valley has a quick counter and they'll retreat. They want Ohio State to come up. They play quick in transition, quick counters. As you, can, as you can see, before before Prohaska even threw, Josh Hill and, and, and company were coming up in, 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 uh, you know, in, in reaction to the throw already. So that's how Grand Valley plays. I believe there was another catch by the Lakers there. So we're down to O'Malley and Prohaska, two strong arm players for these Buckeyes. So I don't know if they can throw their way all the way out of it, but. All right. Pinto just misses the mark there. Josh Hill thought maybe, I thought maybe it hit his ball that he had dropped. So about eight minutes gone by, very methodical pace for this game. Grand Valley wanted to play transition a little bit and use their numbers. Nice long throw by O'Malley there. Still nodded at zero. Nice little reset there by Ben Smart. Sparking orders to the rest of the Lakers squad to get back, make the Buckeyes move up. All right, Patty to the catch. Natalie Prohaska is the lone Buckeye, and Ben Smart goes over him. Sliding dodge there. All right, the Buckeyes have no count. Good dodge by Prohaska. He's hanging tough there. He evades the team throw from Josh Hill and Ryan Israel, so two of Grand Valley's bigger arms. All right, there's two balls on the Ohio State side. He's not at a shot clock. All right. Owen Israel's. I so couldn't is secure the out there and kind of makes a sliding attempt to dodge, but Ben Smart has that pinpoint accuracy that he's known for. And about 9.20 gone by first half. Green Valley will take that first point. So for Ohio State, you kind of got to shake over or, or shake off that, that sort of hangover feeling from the Penn State loss. I feel like that kind of carried him into here. He came out a little little flat. Um, maybe they were a little shell-shocked by, by Grand Valley, not expecting them to be quite as good as they, uh, they were showing here. So. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say Grand Valley is in a down year when they came in, you know, uh, to Nationals. But, I mean, they they played probably uh, the best Michigan State team we've seen in a long time, and and that's where their losses came from this season. Yep. So it's, it's it's no detriment that they, they lost three times this year to Michigan State. It's it's the fact that, you know, we're just used to the, the royalty that is the Grand Valley State Nationals. 
Absolutely. So, if, I mean, most people would love for their peach here to be a down Grand Valley here, you know what I mean? So. All right, snap left, left Peter. Get this started off right here. So, run up. Looks like it was a slide there by Thomas, but on no foul there. Looks like they're about even on the ball count from that run up. The fans will have to make it slow. Yep. Right for Ginsburg there. And who gets the camera? I thought that's a comment. Yeah. Caught Ben Smart running back. Ryan Ginsburg facilitating the offense here for the Buckeyes. See what Grand Valley does. I'm going to just come and help Ben Smart on the corner. Ben Gardio with a good reset. He's going to grab that. Nice counter by Kemmer there, taking out fellow freshman Eli Walcott. Varga putting his body on the line for his teammate. I kind of stepped in front of Ginsburg there. Figured if I can catch it, cool, but otherwise I'm going to make sure my man's safe. Long throw by Matt Budai into a crowd, nobody home. And you notice how Grand Valley does something different than most. They, they kind of layer their corners, and so the counter throw or the uh, the time throws are are made to kind of go into a group of crowd of people and have a better chance to get the wall ball and also secure a catch. Exhibit A. Right now, Hurst Benson with another catch there. That brings back in Ben Smart. So, yeah, they kind of push out to those corners, do the center open, forcing you to throw from angles or throw into a crowd to get a stop. Bruce Simpson gets Evan Utter back that time, so Darnell, maybe a little bit of a coming out party for him here in Nashville. We are going to say that wasn't a throw by Tenner there. So Hoska makes the throw. Nice stop by Ryan Paddock and it's kind of a kick save. Miller goes down in the scrum. Blocked by Kalaska sliding and falling backwards on his knees there. Great Huston. dodge by Josh Hill there. Custom seeing Ben Smart on that left side. He was over on the right side for a while. Now he's going to readjust. So, Ohio State trying to get back into this game. We're almost halfway through the first half. Not that they're out of the game, but 1 0, trying to take this point. They have maintained ball control for the majority of this point. Grand Valley's catching has kept them in this point so far. Yeah, absolutely. Ohio State just can't seem to, you know, be in the right place at the right time to secure a catch, and, and Grand Valley is just always in the right position. Uh, Prohaska tried to block for Cameron and slid, slid all the way line. past the throw line, so that's unfortunate. Very committed to his job in that play of, of blocking for his throw there. Ohio State suddenly down to seven guys. It's a really good group of seven that they've got for there. But... A lot of uh, a lot of fire going on there. Nobody home for either team. So. That's a catch for Gonzalez, who then gets tagged. Nice dodge by Ben Smart there. So O'Malley ended up being the victim of that catch there. Uh, Gonzalez popped it up himself, and they were late to help him. Uh, they were late to tag him with Ohio State, so he secured the catch and then got hit afterwards. But uh, Ohio State got five Buckeyes left. Beautiful tag by Mason Smith. Little miscommunication there from the Buckeyes. Nice hit by 
kick counter on Matt, the guy there who thought he was trying to get that ball and slid, put himself in a bad spot. You can see the frustration on Ginsburg there because following Grand Valley, Grand Valley, excuse me, to get, get away with that wall ball. Looks like Grand Valley's going to set something up on this side of the court. Tom Hill gets counted out. Grand Valley's got to be careful because Ohio State's kind of systematically number one to take them out. All right, no count for the Buckeyes. Now they have one ball. So if you have two balls or less, you have uh, no shot clock. We can watch the counter from Kemmer. Second throw gets Kemper after he jumps. So. Catch by Ryan Ginsburg. Brings back in uh, Colin Varga. Takes out Owen Israel. So now uh, Grand Valley is short oh. a couple veterans now. Varga then gets taken out on the near side here. Ben Dardia took out Eli Walcott, and he's not happy. He's trying to help like, move the trophy or something. The trophy got knocked over, and then he ends up getting crossed, not paying attention. But Grand Valley's going to be on 10 o'clock now, so. Hammer takes a solo shot at Mason Smith, who blocks, and Ben Smart in the return fire takes out Ginsburg. Ben Dardia looking for a catch there, just kind of a uh, size against it. I want to get some uh, notes on most minutes played today. See if Ben Dardia has got to be near the top of that list. Oh, absolutely. He's always one of the last remaining uh, players for the Ohio State Club. Counter misses the catch there. I think Mason Smith will get credit for that one. So Ben Dardia alone again for the Buckeyes. We saw this story play out about three, four times against, uh, against Penn State. Smart takes one right past them, and now no count for the lone Buckeye. Makes himself smaller than he already is. On some excellent elusiveness there. He is puffing and puffing. Still nobody home. They put yep. about three on him there between Mark Smith and Hurst Winston. Well placed throw by Ben Dardia. And Smart just hopping for these safe spotted throws in front of Ben Dardia. So. Yep, Ben Smart immediately counters, so it uh, forces uh, Dardia to come up and, and make a long throw. Oh, and he got Ben Dardia to reach by just keeping it off his body a little bit there. So, seven and a half to go, first half. Grand Valley all over Ohio State, two nothing here. So, we'll see what adjustments Ohio State makes. They've had their opportunities. They, they hung in pretty tough there, and little Grand Valley down only five players. Um, yeah. But, Grand Valley caught themselves back in. They, that's been the story of the, these these couple points here. Every time Ohio State seems to be mounting some offense, Grand Valley catches themselves back in. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. Catches win games, man. That's the difference in the Lakers, uh, you know, stat sheet and the Buckeye stat sheet is that there's lopsided number of catches for for Grand Valley over Ohio State. Let's see what uh, Ohio State's coaching staff cooks up here in the huddle. Yeah, Ohio State's going to have to do some soul searching. 7.30 is plenty of time to get a point, but they really, you know, it's on them really now to try to cut this lead in half. Uh, they don't want Grand Valley running away from them. Three is, obviously they've seen people can come back from uh, come back from down 3-0, but they don't want to have to be the one to make the comeback this time. Yeah, I mean, you know, you say, you know, 7.30 is, is, is plenty of time to take a point, but you also don't want to drop another point here going into half. So you have to be kind of wary of your pace. Too much doing on the run up there yet. Oh, 
newcomer. Like that, the diver then returns fire, and then he gets hit. Ryan Ginsburg with a nice counter. He's known for that. Ooh! Oh, first win team couldn't quite secure that one. That would have been big. Yep, absolutely. Big catch by Owen Israel, dropping to his knees, sliding kind of sideways there. Simultaneous, Josh Hill got Ryan Ginsburg out. Did Owen not catch Ryan Ginsburg? Well, then Ginsburg's out Ginsburg's twice. Ginsburg's out twice. He just got to stay in the outline. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Polk going to lead the charge for the Lakers. Varga gets caught kind of reaching again there. Varga's got a big catch radius, but I don't think he needed to do that there. No, like I said, you know, 7.30 is plenty of time to take a point, but it's also plenty of time to lose a point if you don't have the right tempo. True. Three, third throw finally connects with Ben Smart there. Yeah, it takes three. All right, let's see what Grand Valley cooks up here. Josh Hill going at Garrett Kemper again. Those two have been having a little bit of a battle. I think Josh has been winning that one early on in this game, but... Wow! Already a catch, catch. And have the guy with the catch right back for the Lakers. So, all right, so rapid fire succession. He just had three total catches. Not a lot of veterans on the court. You got Alex Gonzalez and Josh Hill. First Winston got tagged again on the toe there from the cross. So, now this is. Uh, other than uh, Gonzalez and Josh Hill, you've got a sophomore and freshman laden lineup here for Lakers. Just under five to go. Ohio State trying to cut the deficit in half going into, going into the break. And now's their best chance with GB backed up on the baseline and they have ball control. Josh Hill with an easy ball. Gonzalez went all the way up there. He just couldn't quite get that ball. And too much, too much gunfire going on there in the middle. So. I was talking to Tyler Peach earlier in an interview, and he said that Alex Gonzalez is one of the unsung heroes for the Lakers squad. He said his veteran leadership often goes unnoticed, and you know we're, we're kind of seeing it here, kind of holding his side together, you know. He's just a very quiet, uh, cool, calm, collected type player. One of those chief hogs in the Laker lineup. He's over in the corner quite a bit for them. Very accurate on the counter throws. Now he's got to move his feet, man. Under four to go. Ohio State, if they can get a couple kills here, they'll likely try to push the pace. Otherwise, they may just want to take this one to halftime when we're down two. Even uh, even men on both both lineups here. Got eight BA looks like. Grand Valley very very content to control the pace and to stay on their back line and kind of react to Ohio State instead of initiating. Big team shot takes out from an utter back. Matt Budai not going to let Ohio State get that ball easily. Finally get some Laker reinforcements here, and now they'll uh, maybe try to go ahead and get this one. Wow, Derek, Derek Kemper, Kemper with some elusivity of his own. He's one of the bigger Ohio State players, and he got real small there, stayed nice and low, and evaded two throws. I think Kemper would be content to trade with Josh Hill. I don't think it's what he was attempting earlier. Yeah, with Ben Smart and Hill's Hill on the bench right now, Hill is one of the stronger throws. Catch it to bring in Ginsburg, so that's huge. Yeah, Will Bryan with the catch there. Grand Valley down to six players, two minutes to go. 
Ohio State back up to with the seven. Wow. Nice spot by Ben Dardia. Good honesty there by Mason City. Kind of like took a step forward because he kind of made up his mind on pumping yeah. the counter and then had to like whoop, 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 and go out. All right, Grand Valley is down a 10 count. Got about a minute 35 to kill here. It's not for Grand Valley. That's what it turns into. You're not going to be able to, it's highly unlikely you're going up to nothing. So you've got to just try to get this thing to halftime and uh, keep your lead at two. Timeout called uh, from the Buckeye coaches. Yeah, probably a good timeout. They want to get something set up. They've got a couple runs they can make at this thing here. Minute 24 to go. Ohio State trying to cut the lead in half. they have some something drawn up here that they've they've been discussing as a coaching staff here for the Buckeyes you know if, if you're Grand Valley all, all, all Ben Smart and Josh Hill are telling them you know you know place your throws well you know don't force anything yeah they, they really only need to make seven eight throws so it's Grand Valley so just self-preservation protect yourself Reset the shot clock and get this thing to halftime. Preserve your lead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're if you're Ohio State, you kind of got to feel the pressure here. It's not likely that Ohio State drops a point here, so they they got to kind of force some offense. All right, the Lakers will break the huddle with Matt Budai, Aiden Jacobs, Eli Walcott, Brian Paddock, and Josh Hill as their five. Ohio State opting to stay on their back line to force Grand Valley up. All right, both teams have missed Walcott there. Got to be careful not to turn his back like that when he jumps. Timeout by Grand Valley. Timeout by Grand Valley. That'll, uh, that's a strategic timeout there simply to get uh, ball control back a little bit. Under a minute to go now. Grand Valley holding on. Clinging to their two point lead, trying to get to halftime. All right. Ohio State wasted a lot of time there trying to get Grand Valley to come up. Yeah, Ohio State's going to have to be extremely efficient, or Grand Valley's going to have to make some mistakes. Otherwise, uh, they'll go into halftime with a 2 0 lead here still. Yeah, I expect a couple team throws here. Maybe one on the right side, one on the left side. See what uh, Ohio State opts to do here. We'll play with Zooms. Looks like Ohio State knows what they want to do here. They're already, Grand Valley's still huddling here on this timeout. Ohio State looks composed and ready to roll here. They do have ball advantage, so no surprise. They're going to go for this middle ball here. Matt and Aiden, uh, Jacobs and Budai there, taking a couple steps forward as if they were gonna go for it, you know. 35 seconds. I can't tell if Ohio State wants to just take the point into halftime or get a point here because they're just kind of no sense of urgency. Yeah, I need a little more urgency in these throws. They should be team throwing on each side right now. They keep going at Jacobs over and over again and missing. Still on Ryan Paddock, but four Lakers left, two seconds to go. All right, so another timeout by Grand Valley, their second and final of the half. And that was another timeout to simply get balls. So now Grand Valley, every player on the court will have at least one. I think they're going to have Josh Hill take two and come up, make the throw probably, and then just get back. And then somebody else will make a second throw, and then they'll get to halftime. Yeah, because they'll have to make one throw at least. Let's 
like. Looks like it's going to be Mabadai this time here. Oh. Yeah. That'll do it. Oh. Little gamesmanship by Ginsburg there. Does look kind of a. Okay, he's shooting a basketball at Josh Hill, jumping over the line there. So that'll be uh, end of the first half. Grand Valley up 2 nothing here. Uh, played Grand Valley dodgeball, really. That's as crisp as we've seen. Um, they look pretty good against Akron. This is a really good Ohio State team, and they're up 2 nothing. Yeah, just, just efficiency in their throws and their, and, their, and their placement and the kind of positioning on the court to allow them to secure those catches. I mean, they're, they're, they're playing Grand Valley dodgeball, like you said, and, you know, not many mistakes, just kind of, you know, eating the clock and, you know, picking their spots. It's, it's what you like to see here. Well, some people like to see that. Most people are uh, praying for their downfall. I was going to say, I think the, uh, the rumors of the Grand Valley's demise might have been uh, grossly exaggerated right now. This looks like a different team than what we've kind of seen throughout the season, sort of struggle a little bit at times through this regular season. Um, it know, looks definitely... If, if, Played up to their competition today. They made a statement against Akron. They're up 2-0 against a very good Ohio State team. So It looks like they're playing with a purpose because, you know, they know what's at stake. It's it's retaining their title. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like just like uh, the Undertaker was undefeated streak, Love Grand, Valley, Grand right. Valley wants to keep their national championship. Got a couple wrestling stands in the booth here, so we may be dropping more than one wrestling reference. Dropping references like uh, Hulk Hogan drops a leg. No, I'm good. I'm not All right, so what, if you're Ohio State and you're going into halftime down 2 out of Grand Valley, what are you saying in the huddle? If I'm one of the coaches, I'm really imploring my team. Like, look at the They kind of are sitting right now just looking dejected. I, I don't know that they need to be still throwing balls against the wall or looking high energy, but they just kind of look dejected right now and a little bit shell-shocked, and I'm, I'm important them to get the energy up and, and start playing Ohio State dodgeball. They're playing right into Grand Valley's hands a little bit. Real quick, we will update you with some scores. Uh, these are at halftime in queue number five. We have MSU up 2-0 on Akron. Nebraska is up 2-1 on Penn State, so that's another little Big Ten show down there. UW is up 4 0 on North Georgia. And Bowling Green State is up 2 to 1 on Cleveland State. So Cleveland State hanging tough with Bowling Green. Bowling Green had a big 5 0 win against Western earlier today. So Bowling Green coming out firing today on day one of Nationals showing up. Yeah, if you know, you look at the uh, the differences in the sidelines here. I mean, uh, just the, the body language, the energy, you know, Grand Valley State, their their heads are high, they know what they're about. Ohio State just, you can't come out sleeping in the second half. You've got to come out with energy and with a purpose. And, and and right now, it looks like they're kind of just hanging their heads low and looks like they're accepting their fate, almost. Yeah, I see crossed arms of people kind of setting just no energy on their sideline, but they're a, a very good, one thing I've noticed, I, I noticed it at the war and I noticed it at the Ohio Dodgeball Cup is, is Ohio State can be a great, great momentum team. They need that spark. Who's it going to be? Where is it going to come from? I don't know. But they need that spark and then they can really turn things around. We saw it in the first half against Penn State. We saw their energy when they grabbed momentum uh, in their back and forth affair with Ohio at the uh, Ohio Dodgeball Cup. So it's in there. Someone's got to fire it up, though. All right. I'm expecting an OSU chant, some sort of chant like that. All right. So both teams will break the huddle. Second half games. This is our second to last queue of games today. Valley looking to move up in the rankings and uh, improve their seating. It's going to need a little help if they want to get up above, say, three or four, I think. Uh, Cincinnati and Michigan State are ahead of them currently, but uh, Grand Valley making a statement here today, trying to go 3-0 on the day. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to see how Ohio State rebounds from that first half and and, and seeing if Grand Valley, you know, employs the same strategy or if they kind of just, you know, take a little bit of a back seat and maybe, you know, maintain their arms for tomorrow. Your Grand Valley, you should expect Ohio State to come out firing, so you got to really got to handle the pressure in the first minute or two here. Great stop by Aiden Jacobs there, denying Ginsburg of a ball ball strategy there. Great hit by Ben Smart and Miller there. Ohio State did get a catch. That puts Miller right back in. Kemper kind of spiked one. Good to see Varga get a get a catch early in this uh, in this half for the Buckeyes. That might be the spark that they need. They feed off his energy quite a bit. Yeah, he's he's definitely one of their more like uh, like spark plugs on their roster. Get things going for him. Well, he's a little tentative right now, and then Aaron Pope gets countered. Oh, I was through there. Sorry. We've got Ben Smart and Owen Israel in the outline for the Lakers right now. This is the chance for the Buckeyes to really pound. Ben Dardia gets a huge hit and also dodges across as well. Ronell well, Hurstmanson had a good first half for these Lakers, so that's another another best player going out for the Lakers. Kingsford gets tagged and he's very upset. Listen, where's, where's my help? Where's my help? Tyler Peach also gets sent to the outline. Not sure what happened there. Quickly, Grand Valley down to only seven players. Just like last time, it's almost identical rosters. It's uh, Josh Hill and Alex Gonzalez, the veterans on Grand Valley, holding it down. A couple young, uh, young players there from the Lakers. See what the Buckeyes dial up here. They've got the momentum back. Nice team throw on half a guy. And Mason Smith takes out Miller. Ohio State's got to maintain the offense without getting picked off too bad. Isaac Thomas with a rare missed catch. Meanwhile, Eli Walcott goes out. So does Ryan Paddock. So Ohio State smelling blood in the water now. Two and a half minutes gone by. Half, trying to cut into the Grand Valley lead. All right, Grand Valley now on a 10 count. Lakers and Buckeyes exchange a few throws there, but nobody home. Nick Kemper got caught loose in there, kind of sliding out. Good block by Gonzalez, top of the screen there. Varga looking for that one, sided against it. Aiden Jacobs was caught reaching for a low throw, well spotted there. We've got Gonzalez, Smith, and Hill left for the Lakers against eight Buckeyes in the fight. Temple roaring up the throw line. Likes to do that. He's Likes the other team, I feel like, to hit his footsteps, and then he'll kind of back off, let his team get set, figure out what they want to do. Ooh, that's a mistake by the Lakers. Rare mistake by them to... Uh, Rare miscommunication. Yep. They made two solo throws there. They will have a count. Uh, there's a third ball in. Another one. All right, Ohio State in complete control. And they get a good fortuitous bounce for them here on the team throw. They both come right back. They're trying to take advantage of Josh Hill without a ball. You don't see it very often. Yeah. Mason Smith got tagged with a team throw there. The second throw came in just a split second later and got him. And nice stop by Gonzalez there. Ohio State's just going to let him have it, too. And there goes Kemper. 
There it is. Ohio's quarterback. Just like that. Under five minutes for Ohio State. So that was a pretty convincing point by them. Very crisp. So the key for that, in my opinion, you got Owen Israels and Ben Smart off the court early, and you never let them get back on. So that was, that's Grand Valley's two biggest, two out of their three biggest arms. If you put Josh Hill in that camp as well. Yep. Uh, they got them off the court immediately and never had a chance to play again. So maybe another Ohio State found something there. Another difference is Ohio State is placing their throws a lot better, not allowing Grand Valley to secure the catch. Yeah, Grand Valley when they got down players, you could see Mason Smith went for a low one, but that was a good team throw. You saw Aiden Jacobs go for a low one. You saw Josh Hill go for a low one. So, you know, those balls are 6 to 12 inches higher. Ryan Ginsburg, best people in New York. Ethan Mr. Isle. Elijah Thomas, Cincinnati, yeah, Ohio. Evan Ohio. Ohio. Oh, yeah, not taking anything away from Ohio State. They played a, a pretty uh, flawless uh, point. Derek right? Kemper, Osgood, Ohio. Colin Bargan, Bainbridge, Ohio. Jake Crow, Michelle's Ohio. Up, Zach Carroll, Willoughby, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Andrew Fliss. Rocky Heights, Ohio. Love Little Fliss, Rocky Heights, game. Ohio. Nate Kemmer. Ref West Peters starts him off. And Ohio State, probably even on the run up there, but down goes Snyder real quick. First Remsen, probably Grand Valley's fastest player. Aiden Jacobs with a beautiful stop again, just laying out to slap the ball down. And Hurst Remsen got to the middle line before some of the players got to the throw line. Down goes Miller again. Evan Miller's really struggling with some of these throws coming at him today, at least in this game. When Israel just nice and low, the late throw by Derek on oh, anybody. They're across there from the right side of the Buckeye squad to kind of cover for Derek there. I do think one thing Ohio State's doing a little bit better is that they've noticed that Grand Valley's kind of gone to those snatching moments like we talked about. They're playing better angles against yep. it now, so they are getting a little bit better. Elijah Thomas, the big catch. Bring Snyder back in. Yep. And Evan Miller will be next in the kingdom. Yeah, absolutely. Down goes Kemper again, so. Grand Valley really exposing Kemper. Like, normally the strength in his game is the blocking, and he's missed a few here, so Grand Valley's figured a little something out against him. Yeah, Josh Hill taking his spot. Gets countered by Ginsburg there. All right, uh, Nick Kemmer takes out Elijah Walcott there for the Lakers. Caught him on the, the back of his uh, heel there. Isaac Thomas gets taken out. Oh. Okay, Isaac Thomas is going to go out there. I, I thought the my angle that was right in front of the booth. I thought it was uh, not a clean block. So. Uh, officials called him saying he's, he's not sure, so he's going with the officials ruling there. The Laker fans were not happy about that. We, we got some folks standing up. and. Ben Smart with a nice catch there on Ginsburg, decided to come in from the middle. Alright, Prohaska with a top down throw there on uh, Matthew. Okay. Wow, a lot of action here, real quick. Oh, wow! Guy, way to stick with that one. Nice catch. Right in the middle there. Hit him in the numbers, jumped straight up, and he. Athletically go for the catch. And the big thing is you can see three players for the Buckeyes walk into the outline. The three overtime players, in my opinion, Darty against Kirk Kemmer, and that's big for the Lakers. Yep. Big hit by Josh Hill on Snyder, meanwhile. Lakers suddenly, are for sure in the driver's seat right now. Yep, suddenly the momentum, the pendulum just swung right back in the Laker direction this time. And down goes Aiden Jacobs, if I say that. All right, Ohio State's got to adjust something here. They're just getting picked apart. One more throw, and they're going to be on that 10 second shot clock. Half court! Half court! Ben Smart with another well placed throw. Out, utter back there. 
Valley just pushing the pace now. They take out Elijah Thomas, and then Lemko gets taken out by Josh Hill. So Josh Hill beats them a little bit, thinking they're not taking their out. But Lemko just kind of walked off slowly was all there. No big deal. Hawk looked like a touch to Peach. One lone Buckeye left. And, oh, he finds his way into a catch. It's going to bring in Evan Miller. And suddenly, all of a sudden, three Lakers just went out there. Let's go, Evan Miller. Let's go. Ben is saying there's a catch. Ben um, agrees that there, there was, was a catch. There was a catch, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, the. the Buckeye there definitely got hit by the other balls. The question could be that, like, did it hit and fall straight down to the ground? Yeah. Um, yeah. But in a bang bang play like that, I'd say Ty goes to the catcher. Yeah, I agree. Now he's got, Evan Miller's got a full arsenal here. He's got nine of the ten balls. Miller's going to have to throw one more. Trying to stage a comeback here. Catch from Ben Smart brings in Derek Kemper. Evan Miller just backpedaling, backpedaling, and secures the catch. That brings in Kemper, and suddenly, suddenly to Ohio State, your prospects at this point just got way, way better. Yeah, I mean, Sam Valley's got to use their numbers now. They've got a seven on two advantage. Justin Smith misses the mark there. Kemper's going to wait for the ball to roll back. Now Miller fires, just looking to reset, I think. That part was better. Yeah. Ooh, thought about it for a second. I don't know that Gonzalez needs to necessarily do that. Uh, they've got the numbers of him, not to necessarily play out pressure. Yeah, I agree with you on that. And we died probably looking at that pitch, I should have caught that, but there's Gonzalez drop cut. He's fired up now. Talks about him being one of those unsung heroes. Late cross takes out Kemper, and now it's a three to one match. Yeah, Grand Valley very pumped with, with that one. There's just almost 11 minutes gone by in the second half, 14 18 to go. Grand Valley now regains their two, uh, two point advantage here. They made some critical mistakes there, tried to hand it back uh, to Ohio State a little bit, but hung on. Plenty of time left here to, to mount a comeback. Oh, it's, sure. You know, it's it's the I bring it back to the body language. You know, Ohio State looks gassed. Grand Valley looks like they've been here before. I would agree with that sentiment. And uh, you know, the, the one point that. Ohio State did get took what five minutes? So oh, yeah. That's not a factor yet. But they got to come out fire and get the momentum. That's what they did in front of the three that they took. They, yep. they took it to Grand Valley early and often, and that's what they're going to have to do here. All right. Heather asked Wes Peters just making notes about just the scores there when the points were taken, things like that. We're trying to keep everyone well documented this weekend. Make sure you stay out there starting 12 and get us rolling here for points hey, to the pot. All right, run away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big tie up there between Snyder and Hurston. Seems like no harm, no foul there. They kind of just good work by Gonzalez right in the front of the screen there to push, uh, push the Buckeyes back and get that ball to the Lakers. Nice block there by Ginsburg. Camera slows and Gudai returns fire. Nobody home on either one of those. 36. Now 
Ellis. Bowes, Guardia blocks it up. All right, LM Cool Kemper here, holding down this side. Pepper Hoskin, Miller pumping the other side. Ryan gets a run in the middle. Owen Israel's return quickly. Well, we're going to say that's not a throw. Her Simpsons is also not a throw. Dog clockers can't get on the same page about whether it's a throw or not here, so we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt on the second one. Ben Smart with a nice catch, takes out Evan Miller. Ben Smart wasn't primarily known as a throw when he first started. Yeah, he burst onto the scene at a couple of years ago at Nationals and caught the Emu's entire roster, and now he's one of the best throwers in the league. Yeah, he worked hard at his staff, that's for sure. I just remember watching that game film and thinking, why do they keep throwing it at him? Slowed down just a little bit here. Oscar will lose the charge and throws and only the will keep that one up. 7.30 to go. If you are trying to get two points down, Hawk will become a passer around the 10 minute mark here if they can't get one before then. Yeah, it just seems like Grand Valley is just slowly picking apart the, the Buckeye roster. Not really doing anything loud, nothing extravagant, just well placed throws. Yeah, I think that was accuracy. I think it's been a difference in this particular point, to be sure. Ginsburg sends one into a group, but you're there. Alex Gonzalez being super active there in front of his team. Hill and then a catch right there, so making his presence known to the Buckeyes. Up the slide, but out of nowhere to catch first rims in there who was throwing near Ginsburg. He's got a very uncanny ability to be in the right place at the right time. Mason Smith's counter, Nick Kemmer just, just barely evades it. Returns player in the middle, but blocks away. You gotta start thinking about the clock here if you're Ohio State. Absolutely. If you're Grand Valley, you're not much of a hurry to do anything right now. No, they're 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 content where they're at. It's about as good of a bounce as Ohio State could have hoped for on that wall ball attempt. You notice the difference between uh, the way Ohio State's playing and the way uh, Grand Valley's playing. A nice catch there by uh, number six. That's uh, Ryan Paddock, Ryan Paddock. Paddock. sophomore. He found himself on the freshman All America list last year. I do believe he's had some arm issues since then, which may stunt his development a little bit, but still stepping up and making plays for the Lakers. The difference I'm seeing between uh, the play styles here is that, is that Ohio State likes to get up to the front line and then set something up, but Grand Valley seems like they know what's going to happen before the play has fully developed. You know what I mean? Josh Hill puts the outline again. Temper with no help there. Nine minutes to go, second half. Graham Valley hit on to a two-point lead. Temper with a big catch here on Mason Smith. Ohio State looking to cut this deficit to one, make it manageable, trying to make the run against the Lakers. Nick Kemmer, Rookie of the Year candidate for the Buckeyes. Yeah, he's definitely put himself in that conversation. I think uh, he's been in that conversation a little bit, to be fair. But, uh, he had a really outstanding uh, game, especially early on against Penn State. Oh, ho, ho, Tyler Peach almost caught him off. Curved the ball around him. Over. 
due to injury to Nick Fidoa of Michigan State. Uh, just kind of opened the door a little bit. Uh, he missed a little bit of playing time and he hasn't been as featured. But yeah. still is out there, so that's opened the door for guys like Barabal, Hammer, Mason Smith to kind of step up and try yeah. to take that rookie. The announcer's curse there. Emple just missed the catch right in front of us there, and he is just kicking himself for that. After hitting Paddock with a nice cross, he, he traded on that one. Nice catch by Owen Israels, dropped right down for that one. Grand Allison's got a few guys, and uh, you know, you look at like Ben Smart, Tyler Peach, Gonzalez. Owen knows he got away with one there, but those guys are great drop catchers. If you look at what Grand Valley's got on the court right now, they, they're down to five players on 10 clock, but I would bet that four, if not all five of these guys, are on Grand Valley's over 10-6 if it comes to that. So this is the group you want on the court right now. The Hoster just missing a catch there in the middle. Grand Valley hanging tough here, despite being down players. They've kind of whittled Ohio State back down to only seven, so. Buckeyes have to be careful here. Just under seven to go. Oh, and Israel's with a long throw to reset the shot clock there. Happy Dive returns player near Evan. Put her back and maybe some money to one of those throws. She's got a nice over the top where it starts to your head and kind of goes down to your feet. Yeah, that's, uh, I think he's really developed his throw quite a bit this year. Oh, Evan put her back. Rand tried to catch Tyler Peach's uh, cross throw there and ends up running himself into an out there. So six Buckeyes left, five Lakers. Grand Valley just chipping away, chipping away. Buckeyes got to think about stepping on the gas a little bit here. Six to go, two point lead for the Lakers. Grand Valley's content to just let this play out. Not really uh, putting too much pace on it, changing the tempo. Kemper changed things up a little bit there, threw all the way across from the Tyler Pooch. The Lakers will methodically push left to right. Dallas turned around to stop that ball and almost got tagged on the back of the head. It's going to be Israel's. He's so accurate with those long reset throws. Buckeyes and they are down on 10 as well. So Grand Valley is really hung tough from this point. I think the clock is as much a factor as anything out for the Buckeyes, even if they can get a point here. Elijah Thomas is good counter by Matt Badai. Would I watch him come all the way up the court and knew he was going to do it? Advantage Grand Valley. That's what I've been saying. They're just they're just being patient, and calm, and you know, keeping steady with their game plan to, to not really force anything. Oh. And Israel holds. I'll make the solo throw near Kemper. Grand Valley's going to go after this point. For three on Kemper. Valiant effort at dodging there, but. So for the Buckeyes, we got Evan Miller. A couple other younger players there. 
on the roster here. It's like Will Bryan, one of the uh, lone surviving Buckeyes. I don't have a name on number 42 there, but I think it might be that ball first and Jackson long up. He gets taken out by Israel right there. That's a well placed throw. It's right on the top of the foot. He's jumping up in the air. Here come the Lakers in transition. Kevin Miller with a nice block though against two great players in Tyler Kitchen and his Gonzalez looking for that drop catch there. That we saw end a point earlier. Gonna pull the Buckeyes up and make them run a little bit. All right, Will Bryan managed to stay alive with the, from a team throw with uh, Budai and Smart. Evan Miller tried to counter to help his teammate out. Now neither one of them have balls. Now goes Miller. Grand Valley looking to put an exclamation point on this day one performance for them going 3-0. There it is. That'll be it. The Lakers, I don't think they'll play out this final 2-10. The Lakers take a 4-1 win here against the Buckeyes. To go move to 3 and all on the day, and this is big for the Lakers with the double points. They've fallen pretty far down in the rankings thanks to kind of a so-so regular season, but Grand Valley, as they always do, find a way, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they catapulted themselves up to the at least the number three ranking. Maybe they'll avoid uh, Michigan State tomorrow unless they need them in the final. Um, Got to get there first, obviously, one game at a time. They'll tell you that, but... You have two teams the Lakers. You have regular season Grand Valley and Nationals Grand Valley. We're seeing on full display Nationals Grand Valley. They are a different animal. It's all about building and getting better. You can tell they're really fired up about this performance. They needed that. And I think getting a guy like Josh Hillback is a big shot in the arm for them. They added uh, another big arm, another good athlete out there. To the development of some of their freshmen, I think uh, Mason Smith has come a long way in his development so far. So put that together with a couple All-Americans like Tyler Peach and uh, Ben Smart, and this is what you get a 3-0 day one. Yeah, and uh, I'd like to see how Ohio State rebounds on day two. I mean, their they're, they're standing isn't going to be as favorable as, the, as they assumed it would be. Right. So, coming uh, in as the three seed. Yeah. And, and Grand Valley, you know, kudos to them coming in as the sixth seed, really showing everybody what they're made of, you know. You know, as, as we said earlier, you know, Nationals Grand Valley is a totally different animal. They act like they've been here before because they have. They Absolutely. know what's at stake. And the thing about it is, too, like, you know, I'm looking at that number six next to